Okay, today Lauren is going to measure three sites on my body, um, and it's called a skin fold test with our handy dandy caliper. Caliper. Okay, so the first site is going to be on the tricep. And first, you're going to fold your arm, turn, and you're going to try to find the fat, separate the muscle from the fat. Then, when you find it, you're going to relax, take your caliper, and you're going to put it there and measure it. And then make sure you grab it again before pulling the caliper off because it will hurt. And it will pinch. And you want to make sure that your arm is not tense. You want to relax um, so that you get an accurate measurement. Then we're going to move to the iliac. What you're going to do is you're going to go from the iliac, which is top of your hip bone, and move towards your abdomen. Pinch it together there. Find the fat and take a measurement. And again, make sure you don't just pull it off. Then you're going to move to the thigh. Okay, and you want to make sure that you're going to relax your leg because if you don't, and if your leg is tense, then you're going to have um, more muscle and it's going to be tighter and she's not going to be able to grab the fat. So you want to make sure that um, your plantar flexion of the leg or the foot, and then she's going to go ahead and gather the fat and measure it that way. Okay? Same thing, separate it, grab it, and read it, and then let go. And that is the three site skin fold test for a girl. Today we are calculating BMI, which is the weight over height. And here we have a calibrated scale so it's set on zero. And she's going to step on the scale and we're going to take her weight. And you want to make sure that your shoes are off so that the results are more accurate. Okay. And her weight is 156.8. And you can round up and when you put it into the equation, it will not affect it. And now we are gathering her height. We're using this handy dandy clipboard with a little level so we know that it's accurate. And her height is 63 inches. And now that we have collected the basic data, we are going to go show you how to put it into the equation. Here we have her information. We have her weight, which is 157, her height, which is 63 inches, and here is the equation. It's kilograms over meters squared, and we have her weight in pounds, and we have to convert that to kilograms. So you're going to divide that by 2.2, and you're going to get 71.36 kilograms. And then we have her height in inches, which is 63, and you're going to multiply that by 0 .0254 and get 2.56 meters. And then all you're going to do is divide these two numbers, and you are going to get her final number, which is 27.8. And we will compare it to the chart, and she would fall into the overweight category. But it is important to remember that BMI just measures body mass, but does not take into account for adults their muscular strength and their endurance, all that good stuff. And for children, it does not take into account puberty, their skeletal muscle, and all that good stuff. All right, today we're going to take a skin fold measurement for males. Um, we're going to use a skin fold caliper on the three site system to determine uh, my skin fold. Okay, for the males, we do the chest, abdomen, and thigh. For the chest, you want to start at the, the uh, halfway between the nipple and the axillary, axillary line. You want to pinch the fat, separating the fat from the muscle. Take the measurement. Okay. Next for the abdomen, you want to go two centimeters to the left of the navel. Vertical fold. Pinch, separating the fat from the muscle. Okay. For the thigh, you want to get plantar flexion. Right. A good way to measure this is from the inguinal crease the patella, right where your thumbs meet. Take the measurement there. This is also a vertical fold too. I want to separate the fat from the muscle. Clamp down, take your reading, and release. And that is the three-site three skin fold for males. Now we're about to take the measurements for the BMI. I'm going to start out with taking his weight. 
we're in 25. You're going to step off and go over to the height. Measure his height. Get it in inches. Right at 68. Alright, we're going to take those measurements that we got. We're going to plug it into an equation. Its height was 125 pounds, 68 inches. We're going to plug this into equation, kilograms over meter squared. 125 pounds divided by 2.2, which is equal to 56.82 kilograms. We're going to take the inches, 68 inches, multiply that by 0 0.0254, and then take that number and square it, getting 2.96. Divide these two numbers together, kilograms over meters, and then 19, the end result is 19.2. 19.2 falls under the normal category on the BMI value.